I'm going to try and make a video on how to tune these Chinese diesel heaters. Now, believe it or not, I'm standing right next to my heater. You can probably just about hear it. Now, these things from the factory, they're not tuned. They're just definitely not tuned. They're set by default as a default value, and the default value is whatever gets it running at the time. Um, I, I presume that's the way it is because this was badly, badly tuned. First off, I do apologise about this video, but there's probably going to be a lot of cut scenes on it because I need to make sense of all this so as everybody can understand it because I don't want questions afterwards. The first thing, carbon monoxide sensor, wherever you're running it, doesn't matter where, as close as you possibly can to the heater itself. Mine is literally, I'm standing right next to it now, so it's rather quiet. Which I'll, I'm going to go through some tips on quieting it down after I've done this video. This is purely on how to tune it. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your heater is actually clean inside. Make sure there's no soot build up, all the ports are clean, and there's no coke in it. And it's, you know, that you've got to make sure that it's clean when you start, otherwise, it's not going to work at all. These gauze um, atomizer glow plug, what's it things? These I think they cost me six pound for ten. Uh, that's the main thing that cokes up on them. I will go through these on another video, but you do need to get some of those and change that regularly. Before I tuned this, it ran for about three months before I had to take it apart and clean all the coke and the soot and everything else out, and it was in a right bad state. It was really really bad. So I decided then to try and tune them to make them run efficiently with no black smoke, no fumes coming out of it everywhere and as clean as it possibly can. And I found out that these things are very badly tuned from the factory. Now I think the pump speed is actually set at minimum 1.6 and maximum 5.5. I think that's the factory defaults. That is way, way, way too much. Way too much. The fan speed, uh, I think the minimum was 1680 and the maximum was 5000. The maximum is five, fine, but the minimum I found didn't kick out any amount of heat or any amount of air with anything more than just the default flexi pipe on it. It doesn't kick enough air out to get any benefit from it. Also I need to add that this may work with any fuel that you're using. I'm using pump diesel because that's the only thing I can get, but this may work with chip fat oil, chip pan oil, whatever, normal oil, I don't know. I'm not saying that it will, I'm not saying that it won't, but it will certainly make it run cleaner, better and more efficient. So obviously take this with a pinch of salt, but it probably will work with anything that you're running it on. Right, I've got to try and get over the noise of this thing when I fire it up, because it does, it is noisy when it's on full, but what you need to do is put the thing up to full. Now, mine on full is only 3.6, and that's with a maximum of 5,000 RPM fan. I'll let that run up to speed and I'll come back. What you first need to do, is go into the setting, keep pressing it until you get the three dashes and you need to enter the code 1688. Now you see this P1.2, that's the minimum speed that you can actually run it at. So here we've got, this is the maximum pump speed which is 3.6 hertz, 3.6 times a second. Yours is probably going to be at about 5.5. Now this is only for reference, it's not going to be it's going to be different for yours, it's different for every single heater. What you have to do is drop it by point 0.1, go out of the menu and wait and see on this, I've got to keep pressing that because it will time out, and watch on this bar graph and it will drop, you'll drop it by one bar. Now don't go too far at once because you'll get a flame out, you know, it's, it goes to the yellow and then you get a flame out and it will shut itself down. So only go it by 1.1 at one time. When it's gone down one bar, knock it, knock it up bar one and see if you get the full bars. And then knock it up by another one see if you get the full bars until you get the full bars back. It's a balance in between the two. 
and then what I do is I knock it up by 0.2 so that's the maximum fuel you can put through this system on the maximum RPM of the fan. If you put any more through it, all you're going to do is kick out, see it's timed out, all you're going to do is kick out smoke, coke up and it'll just be a right mess. So that is the maximum. So I'm running at 3.6 Hz at 5000 RPM. So what I'm going to do now is turn it down to minimum and let it settle down and I'll come back. Now it's dropped down to minimum. Don't be fooled by more fuel is more heat. Generally speaking, yes it is, but these are like cars. If you overfuel them, you get black smoke coming out of it. You have to either increase the combustion capabilities or reduce the amount of fuel. Now if you drop yours down to the minimum, which is probably, I think it's 1.6 hertz by default. I've got mine down to 1.2 hertz. Uh, if I go into the menu again, so we'll see that the minimum on here is 1.2 Hz and you do exactly the same as you did on the maximum. You change the minimum to whatever it is when the bar goes down one and then you knock it up by 0.1 or 0.2. I think mine, I actually changed it by 0.2. Now I'll also show you my fan speed, the minimum is 2500 and the maximum is 5000. What you'll find is when you start decreasing the pump speed, the fan speed will actually go down. The fan speed increases proportionally to the frequency of the pump. So if I set this to 1.7, you can hear the fan increasing in speed. That is the reason why I set mine to 1.2 is because at 1.6 or whatever it was, it went so low, the actual fan speed went so low that I had a flame out. So what I suggest is put your pump up to put your fan speed up to 1.6 or 1600 RPM first and then start adjusting this. So I've got this down to 1.2 Hz at 2600 RPM. It's gone out now. Because mine's at 3.8 I think it is and I think by default it's 5.5 that equates to a 34% decrease in fuel and I get the same heat coming out of it. Now I've got my FLIR um, thermal camera on the output and I get exactly the same heat coming out of it exactly <laughs> at high setting and low setting I get no smoke, I get no coking, I get no pollution, I get no smell, no nothing. And my heat is there. You'll notice that mine's rather quiet uh, because I've done a lot of modifications to it, a lot of adjustments and I've fine-tuned it to the point where it's livable. I know you're not supposed to have them in the house but I've got no problems with carbon monoxide buildup. I've got a carbon monoxide meter, as in a digital meter, there is no carbon monoxide there are no smoke particles, there is no pollution in here whatsoever. So I'm happy with it running. Now as you can hear, there is no ticking on mine. That's because there's no solenoid pump. I've got that one there. Which I'm going to go through in the next video. Um, I need to speak to the manufacturer of them because I think he may get inundated with orders. So I need, <laughs> I need to be fair to him because they're actually handmade but they are worth every single penny, believe me, to get rid of that ticking sound. I need to add as well that at the time I'm making this video, I've done all my calculations with the marks of the tank and everything else. This works out to be one seventh of the price of electric heating for the same amount of output. Uh, I can keep a couple of rooms on minimum as it is now, I can keep them at 20 degrees, you know, medium sized rooms. To, to do the equivalent in electric heating would cost an absolute bloody fortune as everybody knows as it, as it is. So this has already paid for itself. It paid for itself in the first month that I actually installed it and that was two years ago. Uh, I can't fault them. It's probably the best thing that came out of China. So I hope this has been informative and people have learnt a bit. Hopefully you know how to tune these things now. It is very easy but it's very time consuming. Um, 
I don't say this enough, but if you like the video, like it, share it, subscribe, and don't call me a twat. <laughs>